Okay, guys, welcome back to Rod Doing Stuff. Today we're going to make some quilt box. Well, a quilt box for the bees. I already have a quilt box for the other hive. But I'm going to show you how I build those. Um, main reason is it's worked really good for me the past two years. It's kept my bees alive. Um, the ventilation that comes through them seems to uh, keep the moisture out, which is a big factor in keeping bees alive in the wintertime. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to mark this down an inch and a half down here. Because we're going to put some boards in here. And I'll show you why here in a bit, why we're going down an inch and a half. And this is just a regular 10 frame medium box that we're using to build this. I went and picked this up today. You can buy one or you can build your own or whatever. And it doesn't have to be exact, but if it's close, you're good. So like so. And we're going to cut some boards. These boards here, uh, this is just a 2 inch. And you can use whatever size. This is just some I had laying around. So I'm going to put this here, and I'll just mark this, and then we'll cut that there. I'm going to cut these, and then I'll come back, and we'll get them put in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these boards that we cut and we're going to line them up on the marks we made and just screw them to the inside of that box. Okay, and we're just going to put those in all the way around like that. You can see how we've left this inch and a half here. And then once I get these put on, then I'll come back and we'll show you the next step. Okay, so we got all the boards put in. Screws were a little long, so we just ground the ends of them off out here. Smooth them off so nothing will catch on them. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this screen. This is just regular screen. It's aluminum. I prefer the aluminum. It seems to hold up a little better. The bees do try to seal this off a little bit, but it's still, they can't seal it all off so it stays breathable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece of screen out to fit inside here and then we'll staple it to these boards. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so we got our screen stapled onto the bottom here, and the reason that we've put it an inch and a half down is we're going to drill some holes in here for a top entrance. So the bees have the lower entrance and the upper entrance. Um, in the past I've lost colonies of bees because they all die in the winter and the bottom entrance gets plugged and then they can't get in and out. So I like to have a top entrance for the winter time. Um, and then the other thing we're going to do is we'll drill uh, three holes on two sides of this for vent holes and then put screen on the inside of those. So next thing we're going to do is drill those holes in the sides of this um, for the vent holes. And we're going to use a 7 8 uh, drill bit to put those in there. Ok, 
Okay, so then we got our holes drilled. So now we're going to staple some screen over these holes so that they can breathe, but critters and stuff can't get in and out of them. So that's the next thing we're going to do. Okay, so you can see what we've done here. We've stapled these pieces of screen over this. So they're over the holes so mice and bugs and whatever can't get in there. That'll keep them out. And what we're going to do when we put this on the hive is it'll sit like this. This right here will be filled with uh, wood shavings. And then we'll put the top cover, or, yeah, the top cover and then the top on it. And so what that does is it allows the moisture comes up and it gets in those wood shavings. The wood shavings absorb it and the ventilation lets that dry out so you don't get mold or anything like that. If you have just a regular top cover on there, the problem is, is the heat from the bees, the condensation hits the top of the hive, it drips down, freezes the bees, and they die. So this stops that. Like I said, I've used this method for a couple of years now, and I haven't lost any bees when I've used this. Um, in the past, I've lost a lot of bees until I figured this out. If you figure out getting the mites under control and getting the moisture out of it in the winter time, then your bees will survive. You don't, everybody always asks, should I wrap my hive up, do all this stuff? I've tried that, but I've never had good luck with it. This is, I've had more luck with this than anything else. So next, last thing we're going to do is drill the holes for the, the top entrance. And we're just going to take on this front side, and we're going to take a 5 8 drill bit. And we're just going to put a couple of holes in there for the top entrance. I usually just put them like right here in the about in the middle seems to work so yeah just like that so then the bees can come and go out of there if the bottom entrance gets plugged they have a way to get in and out of the hive still and they don't die because they're trapped in there that's why this is recessed down in like it is. But yeah, I hope you like this video. If you like it, you can build your own. It's pretty easy. It doesn't cost a lot. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, like our channel, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up.